Our top story first at four. You, you've seen it no matter where you live in some form. This winter storm is slamming Arizona right now. Let's give you a live look right now. It has calmed down a bit. The sun is out, but the last couple of hours have really been full of intense storms and winds all across Arizona. The valley and the high country just slammed by severe weather all day, but picking up intensity in the early afternoon hours. This video was shot in Phoenix in the area of 51st Avenue and Happy Valley. Our 12 News weather watchers have been sending us incredible pictures and videos all day long. Here's some video by Paul up in Prescott Valley. It shows a fresh coat of snow outside of his home. And the snow and the wind were out in full force in Prescott as well, where Patty Albright sent us this video of a blizzard sweeping across her balcony. Whoa. And Eugenia Chang in Scottsdale took this video showing a wash of hail just scattered around her home this afternoon. We were also dealing with wind today. Look at this wind that swept across Alicia's backyard in Glendale leaving a big mess behind about 2 o'clock this afternoon. And David Carter in Cordes Lakes shared this video of the snow coming down this morning just as the storm was beginning to hit his neighborhood. And fast forward about six hours later, he sent us another video wow. showing near whiteout conditions from all of the fresh snow coming down. What a difference. And Patty Davis in Kingman also shared some video of the winter wonderland there following falling in her backyard. And we just want to send out some love to all of our weather watchers. You're the ones that really help us tell the story of weather across the state. We can't be everywhere, but thanks to you and your support, we can really show what's going on around Arizona. So we appreciate it. You can join the Facebook page right now. Just search 12 News Weather Watchers. And taking a look at the satellite feeds from the NOAA, it shows that storm system just covering the southern Rockies overnight and then most of our state by daybreak. Especially up over in Snow Bowl, where people have been out on the mountain all day long, just enjoying this fresh coat of powder. We're giving you a live look now at the ADOT camera showing Daisy Mountain Drive there. Pretty calm. Roads are pedaling along very smoothly. In fact, no traffic jams there, but it wasn't like that earlier. All right, let's take a live look from uh, Rachel's weather tracker car. She's out and about right now. And uh, Rachel, oh, you're, you've gotten out, you've jumped out of the car. We did get out of the car and I'm looking around. I'm beside myself as a Valley native. You just don't see sites like this up in North Scottsdale. And as you guys mentioned, a lot of our weather watchers sending in amazing video and the sun is starting to peek out as Tram mentioned. So the flakes did that did manage to stick out here on the Saguaros and other desert landscape are starting to now uh, melt and kind of drip down, but a pretty sight. We've seen some people out walking around, snapping photos of the rare site again in North Scottsdale, but very cool. The McDowell's covered in snow in Pinnacle Peak. I know we have a lot of avid hikers in the valley, and Pinnacle Peak is one of those that's dusted with snowflakes right now. And then, of course, uh, we got some video from the Scottsdale Fire Department uh, Station 616 covered in snow earlier today. They posted those pictures and sent them into 12 News. We appreciate that. We also had some very cool video at True North. Probably not the best day to hit the links, but uh, you know what? Still a sight to see and lots of photos to be snapped. And then, of course, a lot of man's best friend getting out and about playing in this weird white fluffy stuff. Um, we saw a lot of people over the weekend hit the slopes with the fresh powder, but we did not necessarily expect to see it stick down here in the valley. It has done it before, but it's certainly um, more rare than it is common, and we're excited to see it. We're going to keep tracking it, talk to a few more valley residents who are just as excited as this valley native, but for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. From Scottsdale, Rachel Cole, 12 News. Yeah, Rachel, it really is exciting. So many of my friends have been showing me pictures of all the snow up in the North Valley. Check this out, folks. This is Jack, a one-year-old future yeah. pro snowboarder right there. He is doing awesome. Hitting the slopes and flag this weekend, and look at him go. Wow, he's got some skills, Mark. Good job, mad skills. Team 12's Adriana <laughs> Loya is in Flagstaff for us, and the snow continues to fall. Hey, Adriana. 
Well, snow plows were out early this morning and they've been working nonstop. As you can see, some of the roads are clearing off, but they've been messy mostly all day. Now, due to the storm, the city has shut down some of its schools. The Flagstaff Unified School District closed all of its public schools today, including remote learning classes. NAU switched to virtual courses and Coconino Community College canceled classes for its Flagstaff and Page locations. But the COVID-19 testing site at CCC will be operating today as usual. ADOT says the road conditions will be very difficult to near impossible to travel in, as well as we will be getting the heaviest snow of the storm throughout the day here in the high country. For local businesses, though, the snow means relief after pandemic losses and a very busy weekend. The storms help help us get through a pandemic. It, it's a total trickle-down effect, which is wonderful for the town. Yeah, which is great. ADOT says they have deployed 200 of its snow plows since Friday night, and they've been working tirelessly to clear the roads. Now, they say for you not to travel in these conditions, but if you have to, to expect delays and drive slow. We're reporting in Flagstaff. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thank you. And look at this, Senator Bernie Sanders out in the elements today. Oh, wait a minute. That's just a snowman. <laughs> Summer Johnson up in Flagstaff sent us this picture of her brother's snowman following that picture of Senator Sanders from the inauguration that went viral last week.